Weissmeyer, a postdoctoral research associate at the Institute for Learning and Brain Sciences in Seattle, Washington. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about our new NSF-funded research exploring young children's causal learning. Imagine yourself as a young child trying to figure out how to make things happen on your own without having to ask an adult for help. What if you wanted to learn something as simple as how to turn on lights? You might first try watching how adults and older kids go about getting lights to turn on. However, you may find this to be quite confusing. Light switches come in many forms. Some you have to push, and some rotate around, and some don't seem to turn on at all. As a child, how do you put together all of this messy information? Can children really keep track of how likely it is that something is going to work, and then use that information to figure out the best way for them to solve the problem? Together with my co-authors, Andrew Meltzoff and Alison Gopnik, we designed a study to see if young children could detect the difference between two imperfect ways of winning a game and then use the better strategy to their own advantage. In our game, children watched as a researcher activated a black box by placing one of two different wooden blocks on top of it. Sometimes this would also cause a nearby marble dispensing machine to dispense a marble, much to the child's delight. <laughs> children watched the experimenter play with each block six times. One block caused the marble to dispense four of the six times, and the other block caused the marble to dispense only two of the six times. So one was 67% effective, while the other was only 33% effective. Then the children were given a chance to play the game on their own. Here we see a child grabbing a successful block, placing it on the box, and looking toward the marble dispenser. Just like the child in the video, 72% of the kids in the study eagerly chose to play with the block with a higher success rate. It wasn't clear, though, whether the children were making their choices based on probability, the better 67% effective block compared to the 33% effective one, or frequency, the better four marble option compared to the two marble option. So we ran the experiment again with a new group of children. This time we kept the frequency the same for both blocks. Each block caused the marble to dispense four times, while making sure that the probabilities were still different. One block worked 67% of the time, and the other worked 33% of the time. When it was their turn to play the game, 69% of kids in the study chose to play with the block with a higher success rate. This demonstrates that children are able to use the difference in probability to their advantage. Our findings help explain how young children learn so quickly, even in an uncertain and imperfect world. Remarkably, they learn about causality even if the people they are watching make mistakes and are right some, but not all of the time. This intuitive grasp of statistics and ability to weigh the likelihoods of cause and effect scenarios shows that toddlers don't need to learn by trial and error. They can just watch what other people do to figure out how to make things happen on their own. 